Phil, you've been playing Marvel Rivals, which is like the Overwatch version of right. Marvel. And I, I told you when this was announced, I was like, Phil, I am so excited for this. Now, I didn't get an invite to the beta because someone hates me. No one wants me to play this damn game. But you have been able to play it. That's right. So give us your preview slash review, and I might ask you a couple questions yep. as well. So for those who, that don't know, Marvel Rivals is just kind of like what you expect Overwatch to be. It's a hero shooter, 6v6. You, um, Their kind of twist on it is that each character kind of has like these synergies. And so you build your comp off of these synergies. Okay. So for example, Groot and Rocket are on there, right? So when they're together, or if you have them on the same team, they both get like a health boost. But Rocket can actually jump on Groot's back. That's cool. And so Groot is like at the tank role of the game. So when you have like a tank with a DPS on your back, mm -hmm. it's kind of bit this cool little unique interaction. Uh, Rocket and Punisher, when they're together, they can drop like a aura buff. That makes it so that way they both shoot faster and it's like unlimited ammo. Oh, that's for a short amount of time. Yeah, I'm guessing. for a okay. short amount of time. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of the map layouts do feel like a lot of the Overwatch is Are they maps. destructible? Yeah, they're so... It's hard to say destructible because I Some things like, are destructible. Yeah. Okay. It's very hard sometimes to tell like what it can be broken and what is. Um, when it does break, it kind of like comes back like 15 seconds okay. later. There's like a King of the Hill map kind of deal. Okay. Uh, kind of bit like a, whatever that mode is from Overwatch where you just take control of one point. I think it's literally called control. Yeah, control. <laughs> yeah. So like the environments around the control points, usually they'll break and then they come back in like 10, 15 seconds later. It's a little bit weird, but okay. other than that, I mean, it was fun. It was fine for what I played. Um, I definitely think they need some tweaking. Mm -hmm. I played Punisher the whole time. That was like my favorite. Role. That was your, your, uh, what, what do they call it? Your main? Yeah. My main. That was like the one that I was playing. There's like some stuff. That Star Lord I, looked cool. Yeah. Star Lord was cool. He's just Tracer. Oh, okay. That's just how So is play. Punisher like soldier then? Yeah, pretty okay. much. Like they got some discrepancies. Like, Do you think this is like an Overwatch killer? Like, I mean, Overwatch is kind of, is already I, I been dying. I think Overwatch kind of killed themselves. Yeah. Be real. <laughs> yeah. But, but like the killer to this, like, couldn't this be something that saves hero shooters to an extent? Or do you think this is something that's just going to come and die pretty fast? Yeah. I think it's, I think it will get popular at the start start but i uh, does it depend on support yeah it also really depends on the support i don't see them getting this um what is it the audience the amount of audience that mm -hmm. they hope for okay so i don't know i don't think support will be super long they might keep it around long but mm -hmm. uh i guess like the best way to describe it like i don't think it's it beats what peak overwatch was when it first came out okay but i definitely think like it's on the right course. Yeah, it's definitely better than the current Overwatch and, like, the other hero shooters that I've played. And that's fair. I mean, for me, like, I, I've just been saying I've been... I love hero shooters. I think they're... When you get a really cool hero shooter, I, you can fall really into it. And the first Overwatch for me was, like... Uh, I put so many hours in that. Yeah. And I was... And I, the only reason I, I gave any, like, leniency towards it is because it was Blizzard. And I loved like Warcraft, Starcraft, but this is like their new IP. Like, what is this thing? I remember when the beta came out, I played it and I put like 60 hours infinitely into that thing. I was yeah. like so addicted and I took time off from work to play it when it finally came out and I loved it. Like it's one of my most played games probably of all time, if I'm being honest. And, you know, I fell off. I got bored. Yeah. Um, then Overwatch 2 came out. I was like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll hop back on this. And <laughs> It, which has never happened. It, it never happened, right? No, yeah, it got scrapped. <laughs> but I was more excited for just okay, new new mechanics, new characters, whatever. It shouldn't be called Overwatch Two, but I get it. This is the way to get fans back in, and it just it didn't have the same leniency towards me, which disappointed. Then I tried Concord's beta, which didn't impress me whatsoever. Which I'm sure we'll talk about. At, yeah. Once once that game comes out, I'm sure we'll have news topics to talk about more on mm -hmm. Concord. But then this Marvel Rivals was announced. And it looks like I, I I became obsessed with the art style, and that and then like the fact that it was a hero shooter. I was like, this is cool. Like mm -hmm. I like this concept of playing as different Marvel heroes and villains, villains, right? Yeah. 
They okay. have uh, all sorts of people. Namor's in there. Okay, Namor. Uh, Hela is Hela. Can you play as Hela? Oh, that's the uh, that's the main villain from Thor, right? Yeah, yeah. Thor two. Thor three. Thor three. Ah, so close. Yeah, but she's in it too, right? <laughs> yes. I'm like looking at a list of the characters. Uh, yeah. Oh, Black Panther looks cool. Was yeah, he cool? Black, yeah, Black Panther was actually pretty cool. I think he's kind of. Is he like uh, the ninja from Overwatch? Uh oh. Uh, I don't remember. Grenin- no, Greninja. Uh, <laughs> Greninja. That, that's Pokemon. Uh, that's Pokemon. Uh, Genji. Genji. That's why. Okay. This is this is why we have a, a laptop to look at yeah. stuff. But yeah, dude. Like, I'm kind of excited for this. So, is there any heroes you would like to see show up in here? Ooh, I I do. I think they did show off Thor in there already. Yeah, Thor, Thor has been announced. Yeah. Um, I think I saw a couple people playing it actually. I don't know if they tossed. Uh, so the, the ones that have been, so Thor's been announced, Captain America, Jeff the Land Shark. These are things that were like announced at Comic Con. Mm-hmm. Um, so like any other characters that you would like I to think see? Moon Knight would be a pretty cool. Ooh, one. which version? Uh, I think he would be. Like or should you be able to shifter. swift? Yeah, yeah. I think that would be a cool one. Like um, cool mechanic. Yeah, switch switch yeah. personalities. Get a smaller kit. That'd be awesome. One. Yeah. Kind of bit like a jack of all trades. Mm-hmm. I, I like cool. that. I think for me, uh, Daredevil's an easy one that I would like oh, yeah, to see that, in there. That would be good um, too. Miss Marvel, I think, would be cool with the stretchy ability, or just put fan- Mr. Fantastic. Either one, I think, would be pretty sick oh, yeah, to have. I need, yeah, I need a Fantastic Four. Silver um, Surfer. Silver Surfer. Oh, yeah. That would be cool. Uh, I'm trying to think of anyone else that hasn't been. I know Venom's in it, right? Yeah. Venom's in it. Yeah, I think Venom is strong. Mantis, that. Magneto. Oh, Magneto's in it? Mm-hmm. Oh, is he cool to play as? Yeah, he's pretty cool. I've seen people play him. I think he's a little bit of a Is it character. broken into classes? Like, how is it? Like, you know how Overwatch has, like, your tanks, your support? Yeah, that, like, is that how this is built? Or is it just, like, all the characters are there? Um, They do, like, separate them by classes. Okay. Um, It's much more of, like, a guideline of, like, oh, you're going to play uh, Venom. He is a tank class. Just, okay. It's much more of, like, letting you know what they are and, mm-hmm. like, labels than it is like a like you have to play a tank because okay they don't have any like uh what is it they do you like that do you like that i think it i think overwatch is like big mistake was introducing like the whole role thing mm-hmm. so, so you like that they separated themselves yeah, from that okay that they just kind of let you i don't know it's it's hard to say with here here's Shooters, the dude. leaked marvel rival characters ready yeah human torch okay hawkeye captain america cloak and dagger Ultron, Moon Knight, oh. Squirrel Girl, Black Widow, Mr. Fantastic, Winter Soldier. This one is a good one. Blade, oh. Psylocke, Wolverine, Invisible Woman, The Thing, and Iron Fist. That's a that's that, a yeah. I, so I think for me, what's really gonna come from this is the support. the The repetition of replaying it. Is there a thing that hooks people into keep replaying this it doesn't have to be levels or anything like that but what is the thing that makes people want to keep playing it you know what i mean mm-hmm. is it that fun that you don't care if you like overwatch there was really no progression like you got the loot boxes in the first one and then yeah, they got rid of that it's kind of a bit the same in this one um they Skins. obviously have their battle pass system yeah to try to keep people in uh they the free one or at least during the beta they actually gave you a couple of cool skins there okay like a cyan um venom skin okay kind of like similar like the yeah venom from ps2 and Ooh, spider-man 2 okay that, that's what it kind of reminded me of but uh yeah it's it's hard with hero shooters nowadays because i feel like it's been like a saturated market or very it's saturated kind of like it's it feels a little couple years too yeah. late so, so in the end uh obviously the game is not officially out um but as a preview score what would you give it out of 10 skip the seven Skip the seven. Yeah. I give it right now a six out six six out of ten. Yeah. Okay. Simply because I think there needs to be a few balancing changes. Okay. Um, I think some of the characters characters need to have like their abilities more. Like Hulk. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's like sometimes the visuals are kind of like hard to dis- like see or to mm-hmm. like visually read. So it's. That's where I kind of struggle with, like Loki. I didn't understand that, like he can make people, like pretty, like tanky just okay. by having like his aura around and like his okay. clans around. So like I think there needs to be much more of like visual comprehension for those. Okay. But 
um, if they tweak it up, right, I could see it being just like a decent B right like kind of game. So or a. maybe it goes bigger than that. I mean, you don't, you I no one knows. Like you, it could blow the hey, fuck you up. Know what? I'm always up to being wrong and having Marvel Rivals being the next big esport game ever. Fair enough, man. So. Well, with that said, that is Phil's preview slash sort of review for Marvel Rivals Beta. Uh, is there a release date for this? Do we know? I don't, Marvel. I don't think so. I'll look it up. Rivals release date. Um, end of 2024 is all they say. So okay. we'll see.